Vice President Kamala Harris visited the Twin Cities this morning. It was her first visit to Minnesota since the 2020 election. Harris first joined the lieutenant governor for a conversation about reproductive rights. Then she was part of a campaign fundraiser for Democratic Governor Tim Walz. WCCO's Alan Henry has a look at what the vice president had to say and how Minnesota Republicans are reacting. You know, we knew it was going to come because of the leaked decision, but it was still unimaginable that it actually happened. Vice President Harris joined Lieutenant Governor Flanagan at Metro State University this morning for a live podcast discussion about reproductive rights. Central to the conversation was the Supreme Court's decision earlier this year to overturn Roe v. Wade. Now we are seeing an intentional restriction of rights. What is that saying about the trajectory and the direction of our country? There's so much at stake. Today's visit was billed as a conversation and not a political event, but the vice president even admitted given who she is, the topic of conversation, and with an election a little more than two weeks away, politics couldn't be avoided. It matters who represents the people of the state and is responsible for doing justice on behalf of those people when it comes to an issue like this. Kamala Harris coming is a little bit of a slap in the face to Minnesota because she has not helped us at all. That's what Minnesota Republicans said ahead of Harris's visit and talking about anything other than crime or inflation was a distraction. I think Minnesotans want attention given to crime and that's where we stay focused. This is about crime. This is about something that has literally pulverized our state as well as our nation. Alan Henry, WCCO 4 News. A look at the calendar shows there are just 16 days to go until Election Day. Stay with WCCO on TV and online for complete coverage of the campaign.